Alright, finally back at SeaWorld after countless years. First spot of the day is the Sky Tower. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for the comfort and safety of everyone, we ask that you please remain seated at all times. Thank you. Oh, we're going out. Yeah. This is going to be awesome. Oh, we spin too? Welcome aboard yeah, the SeaWorld right Sky Tower. As you take your ride up to a height of 300 feet, we thought it would be helpful to share some SeaWorld tips that might make your day even more enjoyable. For your own safety, please stay in your seats for the entire ride. And no smoking, please. by watching our television series, Sea Rescue. Be inspired by the exciting real-life animal rescue stories and gain a better understanding of the rich array of sea life with which we share our planet. Watch Sea Rescue this weekend on ABC. Naturally, SeaWorld is known for world-class aquarium collections. Believe it or not, you can find some amazing aquariums in the gift shop of Journey to Atlantis, where sharks circle above you and schools of fish swim around your feet. Well, we're just about 300 feet up now. And from here, you can see for miles and miles. As the cabin rotates, keep an eye open for the lush tropical oasis right across the street from SeaWorld. That's Discovery Cove, where you can snorkel with rays and exotic fish, relax on a beautiful beach, and even swim alongside dolphins. Also across the street from SeaWorld, you'll see Aquatica, SeaWorld's water park. Look for our signature ride, two awesome enclosed tube slides that send you speeding through a lively lagoon filled with playful conversant dolphins. Visit the information counter today to see how you can experience Discovery Cove <laughs> and Aquatica. As the cabin rotates, you'll see Mako, Orlando's tallest, fastest, and longest roller coaster. SeaWorld's 200 foot tall hyper coaster. Mako is named for one of the ocean's fastest known sharks and reaches top speeds of 73 miles per hour along nearly a mile of track. Ominous clouds. Awesome. Thank you so much.
slips and slides and discovers the wonder of his own reflection in the ice. And for the first time, he is ready to dive into the sea. He's eager to hunt for food on his own. Stunning HD. <laughs> Look how close he is. Alright, just got off the Manta. It was pretty freaking awesome, I have to say. Here's the Manta. <laughs> Shark teeth in here. He's a sad fish. One lash. Oh, look at that red fish. Focus. This massive red fish in this aquarium are amazing. What's up, buddy? She loves that. Wow. Oh, 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 Giant blue fish. Here comes the tarpon right here.
sharks. Here we go. We're walking the shark encounter tunnel. To the deep, dark ocean, where the only light comes from screaming sharks and other glowing creatures. Like the faint electrical signals given off by all living animals. Even stingrays buried under the sand give off an electric current. So there's no place to hide from a shark's superior senses. So it lives in its house, right? Sand tiger sharks are not regarded to be dangerous to people unless provoked. But sadly, they are sometimes killed because they are scary. Sharks usually hunt things that are sick, dying, or dead. By stopping the spread of diseases, sharks keep the ocean and the people healthy. All right, me and Jamie just rode the Mako. It was absolutely amazing. It's the best. Can't wait to ride it again. All right, here we go. Park's about to close in about an hour. Yeah. We got our beers. Ready for Shamu. We're about to watch some Shamu here. It's gonna be sweet. to SeaWorld today. It's totally awesome. I got a year pass, so I'll definitely be back. We're gonna pet some stingrays here in this lagoon. Check it out real quick before we go. <laughs> some stingrays. We're gonna pet some stingrays. Uh, <laughs> 